Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about wrapper classes in Java. So what exactly is a wrapper class? Up until now we've really only been talking about primitive data types in Java, such as ints, doubles, floats, and things like that. And while these numerical values are great for most things in Java, such as you know putting them in a loop or using them in a calculation, uh, let's say we have a method that only takes objects as parameters, and uh, you have to throw a number in there. Given that a primitive data type is not technically an object, we can't use it in that particular method. So what we would have to do is use a wrapper class to convert or box a primitive type into an object. And um, this also enables us to use all of the numbers of the number class on any of these uh, wrapper class objects. And this is because any of the wrapper class objects or wrapper classes are subclasses of the abstract number class. So it might seem like a lot of information for now, but let's jump over here into the uh, into Eclipse and let's uh, test out some of this stuff. So let's go ahead and define a variable. So we'll say int x equals 10. And this is just a primitive data type of an integer. Uh, let's go ahead and print that. So system.out.println and we'll just print x. So if we compile and run this program here, what's going to happen is we see uh, the value of 10 down in the console, which is what we, what we expect. So all is good. So let's go ahead and say we want to run or call the toString method on this uh, primitive data type here. So we'll say x.toString. And if we were to compile and run this, you'll notice that even before we compile it, we have an error here that says cannot invoke toString on the primitive type int. And um, if we were to actually go through with running it, you'll notice that we get warned again, and then an exception gets thrown once we actually run the program. And that's just because uh, x is actually a primitive data type and not uh, an object. So there's no um, toString method for this. So how do we get around that? What we can actually do is we can say integer, so we can use the full name of the, the data type, x equals new integer 10. And what we're doing here is actually instantiating an object of the integer class called x and assigning it the, val uh, the value of 10. So let's go ahead and run this now. And you'll notice that before we even ran it, our error went away. And then down here in the console, after the program finished running, we have the value of 10. And the reason for this is that because this, val this variable x here now is not actually a primitive data type, it's an object of the integer class, which of, of itself is actually a subclass of the number abstract class. So this enables us to use all of the methods um, of the number class on our, um, on our object uh, here uh, called x. So let's do another example of this. Let's say we want to compare x to something. So let's say x, uh, we're going to call the compare to method. And let's say we compare to the number 15. So we're going to compare the value of x to 15, come down here, and we compile and run it. And you'll notice that we get in the console negative 1. And the reason for this is because 10 is, in fact, less than 15. If we were to compare it, for example, to 5, we'll get a 1 meaning that 10 is greater than 5. So that's one example of this. Um, we can actually, in Java, take a shortcut. Instead of saying integer x equals new integer 10, instead of actually explicitly instantiating this object, we can just say integer x equals 10. And we should actually get the same exact result. So let's go ahead and compile and run. And notice that we still get 1 because 10 is uh, greater than 5. So when we do this, this is what's called boxing. So this primitive type 10, which is actually an int, gets boxed into an object, uh, in this case called x, uh, of the integer class. And so once something's boxed, we can actually unbox it. So let's say come down here and say x plus, or x equals x plus 10. And we could have actually just said x plus equals 10, but uh, x equals x plus 10. So we're adding a primitive type of 10 to an object, uh, a variable, um, called x, or as actually an actual object, called x, and uh, let's go ahead and print out x now. So system.out.println x. And if we were to print this new value of x, you'll notice that we get 20, because 10 plus 10 is 20. And in this situation, since we're adding a pr primitive data type to an object, this is called unboxing. So this boxed value of 10 here is going to be unboxed back to primitive data type when it's printed out here. Uh, so this is just 20. Uh, so this is just one example of how you can go about using wrapper classes 
Um, for every primitive data type, so int, double, uh, bytes, float, uh, et cetera, et cetera, there is an associated wrapper class. Um, and again, all the wrapper classes are a subclass of the number class, abstract class in Java. So feel free to play around with this, use some more methods of the number class, um, and just kind of see what you can do. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And feel free to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash jamiemcg or twitter.com slash technicalcafe uh, for more uh, YouTube or blog specific updates. Thank you for watching and have a great day.